Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday the 3rd of February for the Order of Night Prayer. Let me begin with a prayer for today. God of all in whom we live and move and have our being, breathe upon our leaders your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord, that through your guidance they may direct our steps in the ways of safety and wisdom and hope through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we turn to our service books for the order of night prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what, in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, Make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. This evening I'm going to read um, a hymn. be very familiar to many of you. Father, hear the prayer we offer. Father, hear the prayer we offer, not for ease that prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously. Not forever in green pastures do we ask our way to be, but by steep and rugged pathways would we strive to climb to thee. Not forever by still waters would we idly quiet stay, but would smite the living fountains from the rocks along our way. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in our wanderings be our guide, through endeavour, failure, danger, Father be thou at our side. Let our path be bright or dreary, storm or sunshine be our share, may our souls in hope unweary make thy works our ceaseless prayer. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful any more. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips, but harbour deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say by our tongues we will prevail, our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan. I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who freely strut about when what is vile is honoured by the human race. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Hosea, Hosea, Hosea chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. God's love for Israel. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. But the more they were called, the more they went away from me. They sacrificed to the bulls, and they burned incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms. 
but they did not realise it was I who healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. To them I was like one who lifts their little child to the cheek, and I bent down to feed them. Will they not return to Egypt, and will not Assyria rule over them, because they refuse to repent? A sword will flash in their cities, it will devour their false prophets, and put an end to their plans. My people are determined to turn from me, even though they call me God Most High, I will by no means exalt them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, Israel? How can I treat you like Adma? How can I make you like Zeboim? My heart is changed within me, all my compassion is aroused. I will not carry out my fierce anger, nor will I devastate Ephraim again. For I am God, and not a man, the Holy One among you. I will not come against their cities. They will follow the Lord, and he will roar like a lion. When he roars, his children will come trembling from the west. They will come from Egypt, trembling like sparrows, from Assyria, fluttering like doves. I will settle them in their homes, declares the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. I like to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of the people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We now turn to our intercessions for the evening. Lord, that you will give us a quiet night and a perfect end. We pray to you, O Lord that you will have mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this night without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guard us and give us your blessing. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bring us with all your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. We pray this night for peace and justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith. We pray for the renewal of the church in love and service. We pray for our bishops and for the life of this parish and community. We give you thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of the sacraments and the fellowship of your people. We pray for this local community and for all people in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and all who are alone. We give thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your glory. We pray this night for all who are in need. Let's just hold a moment of quiet as we bring those we know and love before the Lord. We pray for the sick and for the sorrowful and for the bereaved. We pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. We pray this night 
for the gift of a vaccine for COVID-19, for protection against the new variant. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God in the name of Christ. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>